Hey, man, I don't think we've met, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Minutemen? We protect the people at a minute's notice. That's the idea, anyway. You might have heard we're making a comeback. The General sent me to collect donations from concerned citizens like yourself. Help us out, and you can count on the Minutemen to be there when you need us. Can I put you down for, say, a hundred caps? Really? The Minutemen are collecting bribes now. Hey, man, we're just trying to make the Commonwealth a little better for everyone. Isn't that something you're willing to give a little for? Now, come on. It's not that much to ask, is it? You're not Preston Garvey. Say what, man? You know what? It's charlatans like you that give the Minutemen a bad name. Oh, shit. This is pointless. The war is over. Irrelevant! Under the terms of the Martial Law Act, Section 12.J, those refusing to comply with the curfew order are to be pacified. Repeat, will you comply? Will you comply? 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 Loop detected. Error. Error. Repeat. A mandatory curfew is in effect. Return to your homes and await further instructions. <laughs> My righteous fury is only matched by... The Silver Shroud. Ahem. As soon as I have conquered the land, once more I will conquer the seas. The bombs fell before the world could learn of my sinister twin brother. <clears throat> Damn you, cliffhanger! Does your spouse require a new washing machine? Come to What's Electronics! Hello, intelligent and informed consumer. Please take a flyer and stop by What's Electronics for all your electronics and household appliance needs. Come to What's Electronics! As a Watts robot, I am guaranteed to continue functioning well beyond the factory warranty of 100 years, unlike robots from other stores. Just the part I was looking for. The guys back at the garage are gonna flip. Nothing else to find here. The sunk of junk is picked clean, Daddy-o. You building something? My friends and I soup up old power armor. We have groovy metal suits like you have never seen. You seem like a cool cat. You should check out our digs. Our machines are something to see, Jack. Are you buying, or just in the way? You out here all by yourself? Hardly. Gus looks out for me, so I don't get any ideas. Now, are you buying or not? Let me think it over. That's what they always say. Do not interfere with security operations. You look hurt. Here, this will make you feel better. You need a name. I'll call you Sparky. A 
What I don't yet understand is how the radiation both preserves living tissue and yet allows it to continue to decay. Hey. Well, well. Fate brings us together again. I'm so enjoying the chance to finally experience this new world of ours. Did you kill those people? Oh, you mean the ones with the radiation syndrome? Yes, I did. I've been collecting data from as many people as I can find with that radiation syndrome, which seems to increase longevity. Ghouls, I think, is the colloquial term these days. The prejudice of the common folk towards the ugly and different is one thing that hasn't changed. I find it a simply fascinating subject, especially the parallels with my own condition. You're just as crazy as Jack said. I'll take that as a compliment. Until next time. With this, we commit our friend, Blake, to the Earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May he find peace with the Lord. Amen. Would anyone like to say anything before we move on? Blake was a great guy and an even better friend. He was taken from us too soon, but he won't be forgotten. Blake, I hope you know how I felt about you, even if I couldn't say it to your face. Now you're gone, and it seems too late, but I love you. Marcus, do you have anything to say? This is stupid. People die every day. I don't understand why. Understand. <laughs> God, why did it have to be him, huh? Why wasn't it me? I'm the asshole of the group. I'm the one had it coming, not him. Not Blake. I'm sorry, guys. I just... I miss him. We all miss him, Marcus. He was the best of all of us. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> I'm okay now. Really, I am. Okay. That's it. There's nothing else we can do now. Time to move on. Hey. Hey there. You look like someone who could use some talk. Man's best friend, right? Why are you selling her? Oh, I don't want to. But I love dogs, and I gotta make a living somehow. So I raise them and sell them. I'm always blue for weeks after I sell one. But then I get myself a new puppy and start all over again. You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog, don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. Look, it's up to you. You were the one who offered to sell me the dog, remember? Yeah, I know. It just, when it comes down to it, I always have trouble actually selling them, you know? So I don't want to sell her to someone who won't take care of her. I'm sure you understand. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. Yeah, uh, okay. You look like you won't eat her or anything. So, you really want to buy her? Yes, I really want to buy your dog. Okay. But you have some place for her to live, right? Uh, I guess that'll have to be okay. Okay, girl. This is your uh, new owner. He's, he's going to give you a new home. Go on now. You you be a good girl. Bye-bye. I, uh, I got to go. You take care of her, all right? Look, man, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. 
you put that piece of my lurk meat between two pieces of bread. But it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what. Hey, I got a question for you. I can sell you a Brahmin. As is, of course. But quality is guaranteed. Does this Brahmin really belong to you? What? What do you think? It's stolen or something? <laughs> nah, she's mine. Of course she's mine. Could be yours, too, for a very reasonable price. What would I do with a Brahmin? What would you do with it? Oh, you're serious? Well, whatever you want. Some people use them for farming, I hear. Increases productivity quite a bit. That's what I hear, at least. Sure, I'll take her. Oh, great, great. Just tell me where you want me to send her, and she's all yours. It's good doing business with you, man. I'm sure I'll see you around. Gonna do it, just do it, Fred. I just need to get to Bunker Hill. After that, you'll never see me again. You're annoying me, Synth. Don't come any closer, friend. This doesn't concern you. Please, help! They're going to kill me! Shut up! What's going on here? This thing's a synth. That's what. We've been traveling with it for weeks. But then today, he finally let slip that he's an Institute errand boy. The whole fucking time. Because I thought you were my friends. I'd never be friends with a damn synth. You already were friends with the synth. Now please, just... just let me go. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? You're just gonna run off and get your Institute buddies to come put us down. That ain't happening, pal. I'm not with the Institute. I ran away. I... I just need to get to Bunker Hill. Then, I swear I will never bother you again. Please. You believe me, right? You can't let them do this. You need to let him go. Think about it. If he meant to hurt you, wouldn't he have done it already? I would, I would, I would never do that. You're, you're my friends. They got a point, Fred. He's had all the chances in the world to harm us. Maybe... Maybe we should just let him go. I... All right. But if I ever see you again, I'm putting one right between your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just get the hell out of here. You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. Am I right? Who are you? I'm Stash, your friendly traveling chems dealer. I don't mind the crew. They're just overprotective. Stash? How'd you get that name? Ah, uh, parents on chems. But hey, it suits me. So, what'll it be? Take a look. Depends on what you're selling. Whatever you need to put that extra oomph in your day. Let's see what you got. Exactly what you need. Hands where I can see them. Yeah, whatever. I'll do what I want. Won't be saying that once you're dead. I think someone needs to get moving. No funny business. What are you guys doing out here? Working. Gotta earn those calves, right? Jet don't pay for itself. Hey there. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Max Bar. We are currently open for business. Please excuse the mess. Why start a bar out here? Ever since I was little, I wanted to own a bar. A place where people could come and relax and tell me their troubles. Problem is, real estate is real hard to come by in most of the major settlements. So I figured, why not start out here, huh? Anyway, what'll it be? What do you have for sale? A wide and varied supply of spirits and sodas. And maybe a snack or two, if you're feeling peckish. I'll think about it. No rush, but I don't want a long line forming, okay? Good day to you, stranger. 
You look like someone that appreciates the utility of a good set of armor. You just wander around, selling armor to random people? Traveling's a good way to meet new people, as well as finding the lost, the broken, and the unusual. When I get tired of traveling, I settle down again for a while. But I'm in a wandering phase at the moment. So, were you interested in trading or not? Depends on what you got. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. This is the life, huh? Oh, yeah. Really doesn't get any better than this. Howdy, friend. Grab a seat by the fire. Everyone's welcome. Hey there. How's it going, friend? You're welcome to join us. Pull up a patch of dirt, stump, old tire, whatever suits you. Take a load off and stay a while. The good fellowship's on the house. The drinks are how I keep body and soul together. Can I get you something to drink? What is this? A traveling bar? I have a lot of friends. I make new friends wherever I go. My friends like to join me for a drink. What can I say? It's a living. So far, the wandering life suits me. I see the world, and my friends always know I'll be coming to visit soon. So, can I get you anything? Maybe. What have you got? My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. Are you looking for a new career in science? Cambridge Polymer Labs is now hiring for a variety of positions. Apply today. Cambridge Polymer Labs, the global leader in the exciting field of commercial plastics. Now hiring. Apply today. Attention, please. Employment opportunities await at Cambridge Polymer Labs. Competitive salary and benefits. Apply today. You looking to trade? What are you doing out here? People want something. Smiling Larry finds it. Brings it to him. The whole Commonwealth knows me. Now, what about doing some trading? Let's see what you've got. Smiling Larry always has something you need. Not many doctors around these days. So let me take a look at you. Look at all the blood. Hi. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Any news out there, doctor? Got nothing. Sorry, I'm just trying to practice medicine. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. All right. Let's flush your system. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Hey, buddy, you looking to earn some caps? What's the job? I've got a lead on a crash site. Big old Jed. That much scrap could be worth a lot to the right buyer. Trouble is, some raiders are holed up in it. Help me run them off, and I'll give you a cut of the profit. How about 50 caps? Sound fair? How many raiders? Not sure. I stopped counting when they started shooting. Maybe eight or ten? Now are you in or not? Come on. Make it worth my time. One hundred. You can do better than that. One fifty. Last chance. Two hundred. You drive a hard bargain, friend. Two hundred. That's my final offer. I'm in. All right. There's a little ridge just south of the crash site. Meet me there, and we'll take them on together. There you are, beginning to think you wouldn't show. Well, I'm here now. Let's get started. 
All right, gather around. Looks like we're up against ten raiders. Five in the plane, five on patrol. Expect the others to come running once the shooting starts. Stick together, keep your heads down, and clear that plane. Now, now move, move, move! Ness. Like it's still intact. What do you know? Huh? What is it? Oh, right. Your pay. Here. Just like we agreed. Is that a secret compartment? All right, Ness. What's really going on here? Keep your voice. Ugh. All right. Look. Skylanes was a smuggling operation. Near as I can tell, the whole company was in on it before the war use their passenger flights to cover it up. I've been looking for these wrecks for years. Beats selling metal for scrap. Can I count on you to keep this quiet? You got your cut. I got mine. We're even. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Now get out of here before the others start asking questions. Well, now who's this? You here to trade, boy? Who are you? What are you doing out here? Name's Dreth. That's all you need to know. Now, you're here for business? I ain't got all night. Depends on what you're selling. Arms, ammo. <laughs> Guy like you's bound to find something. Come on. Excuse me. Don't do anything stupid. Excuse me. Watch yourself. Need a new gun? Ammo? Let's see what you got. Take a look. That should do it. If it's been sealed up since the Great War, there's no telling what might be inside. Please. I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? What kind of water did you need? Purified would be wonderful, but uh, anything you have would do. I don't know. Please. Without water, I could die. Anything you have would help me. Anything at all. Of course. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Stop right there. Any civilian passing through here is required to pay a fee of 500 caps. What if I don't pay? Bang. You're dead. How about knocking some caps off the price? 400? Can you afford that? 
Come on, you can do better than that. 350. Final offer. I feel like you're about to say a number I'm really going to like. Okay, there is no way I can take less than... 250. You sure I can't get you to drop some more caps off the price? Listen, I'm not even supposed to be talking to you. I either collect the money or shoot you dead. Which will it be? You sure I can't get you to drop some more caps off the price? I'm a professional, sir. I don't have time for this. I don't think so. Guess we're doing this the hard way, then. You're not replacing me. Please. Please help. I don't want to die. I said keep your mouth shut. Please. You gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he, he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh, God. My kids. Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please. Please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. You're with the Institute? Hey, look, this guy knows I'm a synth. So just help me take care of him, all right? Otherwise, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Just kill this thing and be done with it. What? No! Ah! Ah. It's done. I, uh... I need to get out of here. God, I'm still shaking. 